A while back, I put out a post with this sketch I made when my workshop was out of commission. I was originally thinking about making this a three-piece swim bait, but I've really been getting into glide baits lately, so that's what we're going to make today. I often get asked what type of wood I'm using. While you can make a lure with whatever wood you have, I prefer working with something that has a small, even grain and that's easy to carve, like this piece of basswood, which is also reasonably buoyant. Let me talk very briefly about these uh, markings that I've made on here. What these indicate is how much bevel I'm going to carve with my knife on this. And uh, so through the body area, I want to take off quite a bit of material because I want the body to be very rounded. But then as we get down towards the tail, I don't have as much wood to work with here. So I need to take it real easy on the rounding so that I don't cut off too much by accident. I want to leave a lot more material around the head area here, particularly around the gills, uh, because I'm going to have those gills raised pretty high. Um, and so I don't want to start off by taking too much off. We can remove it slowly, but we can't add it back. Thank you. 
So in order to line this up perfectly on the other side, I've noticed we've got two points here that are on this center line. This spot on the eye winds up on the line and the point of this gill winds up on the line. But what we need to do on the other side is measure the distance from the tip of the nose to there and the tip of the nose to there so that we make sure that we're centered front to back. Right there.
So these little twist eyes are the best uh, that I was able to find locally, but I don't really think I'm going to be happy with that small amount of actual screw going into the body. I don't think that's going to be enough for me. So I've actually ordered some uh, screw eyes that are coming that have a much longer uh, shank on them. However, I don't really want to wait for those to get in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some twist wire um, for now. I won't actually glue it in, but what I can do is I can put it in place as a sort of a placeholder until the actual screw eyes come in. And hopefully they'll be close enough to the right weight that uh, I can go ahead and ballast this and keep moving with it. And then when those screw eyes do arrive, I can simply pull these temporary ones out and then screw in the new ones and be ready to go. Anyway, to make these, what I'm going to do is use this 0.041 diameter stainless steel lock wire. It's the same wire I'm going to be using to make my hook hangers and line tie. Uh, so it really ought to be uh, pretty easy to make. give you a quick explanation of what I'm doing here. Um, so I took the weight that I had glued to the bottom of this fin here um, and the problem is I don't have the space to put this in there anywhere. So what I did is uh, I took this weight off and I weighed it and then I came up with an equivalent weight and this quarter inch weight size. And that gives me a length of one and three eighths inches that I would need to drill to get the same amount of weight in. And I'll put a little piece of tape on there so I'll know how deep I need to drill. But basically the idea here is that I can drill from the front here in like so and get my weight near the bottom, avoid my hinges, avoid my, my uh, hook hanger, avoid everything. It will be sitting just slightly higher uh, than I would normally like, but it will be below the center line uh, of the lure, so we should still be okay.
The interesting thing to point out here is that I'm starting out with some lighter weight single out hooks and then I popped on some of these 3x hooks and you can see the difference that it makes on the ballasting.
I'm experimenting with spraying KBS on this lure, even though it requires more safety precautions than normal. I'm not really ready to recommend this method just yet, and you'll see why here in a minute. I think maybe my airbrush nozzle is too small for this technique. It worked out in the end, but it was pretty terrifying for a while. I encourage everyone to experiment and try new techniques, but you should always do your research and make sure you're taking the proper safety precautions. Seven inches, final length, weight. Three point nine ounces, or one hundred and eleven grams. 